Well, here we are once again. It's time to talk about box office. The box office warfare that continues to rage on between Marvel, DC, and the rest of the industry. And today we're talking about the final box office predictions for Shazam! Fury of the Gods. What we're looking at here and what it ultimately means depending on where it lands. So just about two months ago, the box office predictions were 80 to 100 million, somewhere in there. That's no longer the case. Right now, we're looking at a low-end estimate across the whole industry, coming in at around 37 to 38 million. The high end, around 48 to 50 million. Meaning we're looking at 10 million in there, that's sort of the golden spot, if you will. More likely, you're looking at about 42 million, optimally we know wb internally always pushes for that middle ground unlike disney who always pushes for the lower end and then takes off 10 million so looking at this film and these types of predictions it's going to go one of two ways either it's going to overperform which could happen depending on if the people are going to be showing up this weekend or it's going to suffer a pretty huge drop in comparison to the first film and end up somewhere either in the middle or on the low end. Whatever happens though, it's making far less than the original film. I think across the industry, that's the main takeaway here. And I think that's problematic, obviously, because uh, the film sequels typically need to make more. You know, had Captain America's second film made less than the first film, there would be no third film. That's just evidence, right? And we're starting to see this affect a lot of films these days. And when you have rising budgets, but you're making less back, it's problematic. So first, looking at Black Adam and how that performed, and the fact that that wasn't that good when it came to its box office run, that ends up making more than Shazam 2. It's a pretty bad indication about the future of Shazam. Again, we're going to find out very early on. Friday morning, we'll have the Thursday numbers. By Saturday, we'll have Thursday and Friday, and that's going to kind of uh, tell us where it's going to end up. And um, I'm not going to be surprised if we hear by the end of the weekend that this thing is a complete disaster and a bomb. Um, despite what reviews might say, the audiences need to show up. That's just you know, how it goes. Uh, you can have highly reviewed films, but if audiences don't show up, then you don't have anything because you invested a lot of money, but nobody paid to see it. Blade Runner 2049, one of the best films I've seen in the last decade, nobody showed up to see it. That's why you don't have a sequel.